Speaking of great stories, Jeffrey Deaver, who has been called the master of manipulation related to the books that he writes, he, introdu he introduces us to his latest novel, which is titled Solitude Creek. See what he has to say about his book and what you can expect. Hi, this is Jeff Deaver, and I'm delighted to be speaking to my friends in Tucson, uh, where I've been a number of times on book tour. I'd like to tell you a little bit about Solitude Creek, my latest thriller from uh, Grand Central Publisher. Solitude Creek features my character, Catherine Dance. Uh, this is the fourth book in that series. Now, Catherine has an unusual specialty. She's an investigator with the California Bureau of Investigation, but her uh, expertise is in kinesics, body language. And that, of course, I'm sure you're familiar with. It's where the investigator will sit down across from the, uh, the suspect and kind of keep an eye on how they cross their legs, how they scratch their forehead, how they look at you and deduce from that whether or not they're telling the truth. Now, I'll have to share a secret with you. I love Catherine Dance as a character. I love my other character in my series featuring Lincoln Rhyme, who is a uh, forensic detective. You may know him from The uh, Bone Collector. But the truth is, I love my villains best. Uh, for instance, the villain in my book, The Broken Window, stole information from a data mining company. And you know what that is, data mining company. It sucks up all this information about our personal lives. And he used that data to get close to people and ruin their lives, kill them, and do other terrible things. In Solitude Creek, my villain, a fellow named Antioch March, does something that's uh, completely different. He murders people, there's no question about that. But what he does, he doesn't use a gun, doesn't use a knife, doesn't use a rope, doesn't use a bomb. He uses people against themselves. Now by that I mean he will find a venue like a club, a restaurant, even a crowded elevator where people are packed in very close together. And then he eliminates the means of escape. He'll lock the door shut, he'll stop the elevator and scream, there's a fire or there's a man outside with a gun or a bomb, get out as fast as you can, but they can't get out. And the people who are otherwise rational and reasonable turn into animals, they turn against each other. And he takes great delight in doing this. Well, why, is he a terrorist? Is he a businessman who's doing this for some kind of financial gain? Or is he simply a psycho-sadistic personality? That's Catherine, job, uh, Catherine Dance's job to find out. And the book becomes a typical Jeffrey Deaver book, a cat and mouse chase between Catherine Dance and Antioch March as she tries to catch him and he tries to escape. I, uh, I hope you enjoy it. It was great fun to write. I think it'll be great fun to read.